What's up, drumheads? So I just got back from playing a gig in Switzerland. Switzerland is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was great to see a new place. That's probably one of my favorite things to do is just go somewhere I've never been. You know, the world is massive and you'll never be able to see everything you want to see. Uh, so I try and be grateful and explore when I have the chance to. Another one of my favorite things to do is play the drums. And it's pretty cool that drumming is what's allowing me to travel. So today I just want to tell you a bit about my experiences with a band that I've had the pleasure of working with and traveling the world with. The band I'm talking about is called Liquid Blue. Long story short, Liquid Blue is an international party band based out of San Diego, California. The band was originally formed in 1996, and to this day it is still owned and managed by one of the founding members, Scott Stevens. I'm San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, and we're proud to be the home to the world's most traveled band and America's best dance band, Liquid Blue. Throughout the years, Liquid Blue continued performing, playing thousands of shows and events, performing in bigger venues for bigger clients, all over the world. They've performed for multiple sporting events, the Beijing Olympics in 2008, for 65,000 people in China, and have a world record for being the world's most traveled band. Here is Liquid Blue performing at the official 2008 Summer Olympics kickoff concert in Beijing, China. So anyways, fast forward to now, Liquid Blue has tons of members. There are multiple musicians who are on call for these gigs, like three drummers, three bassists. And basically, if their first call musician isn't available, they'll contact the next one on the list. So one of Liquid Blue's drummers is Glenn Manfraser, and he is actually how I got the gig. Glenn was my drum teacher from when I was like 16 to 18 years old. And I remember one lesson, I walk in there and, and he's like, I had this band that I play for that like travels the world and uh, they're auditioning for new drummers and I know you can do it. So he prepped me and helped me learn the songs and he was even helping me at the audition and um, I got some gigs. The first gig I had with them was in Mexico. I've been to Mexico a couple times I think. Played some shows in Hong Kong, had some gigs in Singapore. And even when I was living abroad in South Africa for three years, they still flew me out to play some gigs. I went out to Germany, went to Portugal, but yeah. That's, that's probably my favorite part about being in this band. Like, even though we're playing cover songs, I don't care. I love playing drums. I get to play drums and visit all these different countries. Uh, it's beautiful. I love it. I think another big perk that came from being in this band, uh, aside from the travel, is all the friendships I've made. It's always a good vibe with everybody in the band. Liquid Blue does a good job of picking their musicians. They're all like cool, like-minded people who just want to jam and travel. Are you Liquid Blue? Oh my God, the guitar player, Aiden. I love your riffs. What kind of pedal board are you using? Are you doing the Santana medley tonight? Aiden. Shenanigans, I'm like a mannequin. I'm a mannequin. You like that? Wow. All day. Like, all day. Just one of those was a word. <laughs> you don't know what a Connecticut is? Uh, enlighten me. I actually spent eight months playing on cruise ships with Liquid Blue and had to share a tiny ass room with one of my bandmates. And um, thankfully he ended up being super chill and uh, today I would consider him one of my best friends. And also on that same cruise ship, I met a girl who uh, is now my wife. So yeah, it's just kind of funny to think of the path that you take um, and the people you meet along the way. So I'm super grateful for that, for just like the friends and wife I have made <laughs> through Liquid Blue. I think another one of the more valuable things that I've got from being in this band is just experience. I remember my first couple shows, I was so nervous, like so nervous. I wanted to go home between sets. Like during the breaks, I was like, nah, nah, -uh, no. Like I don't want to go back up there. <laughs> I remember feeling that way. But I think obviously the more time you spend on stage, the more comfortable you become up there. Like you don't even notice the crowd anymore, really. You're just more excited to play. I think also like knowing the material really helps too. Like being confident with yourself and your knowledge of the material 
Um, that really allows you to let go and enjoy what's happening around you uh, instead of just focusing on like, am I playing this right? But sometimes things that are out of your control go wrong. And that's another thing. Uh, it's not a matter of if things go wrong during a performance. It's a matter of when. When things go wrong, because they do. Breaking a stick while playing. In-ear monitors going out mid-song. Bass drum scooting away while playing. Bass drum pedal coming off while playing. Breaking the bass drum head mid-song. Breaking the bass drum beater mid-song. Why is it always the bass drum? But yeah, when shit goes wrong, you just learn to not freak out and cope with the situation. The show must go on. You cannot stop. You can't stop. When I broke the bass drum, I had to use the floor tom because that's like the next lowest tone on the kit. Another skill I think I've acquired from playing with this band is being able to play a song that you've never heard before. I can account for multiple times where I've been on stage and they just start playing a song and I'm like, I don't, I don't know this song. So I cluelessly look to the bassist and he turns back to me and says, I got you, bro. And we make it happen. There's a skill in anticipating what groove should be played based on what the other instruments are playing. And I think that's one of those things that does come with time and experience and ear training. That's basically what it is. Anyways, uh, it's nice to just reflect and be grateful that you get to do the things that you enjoy. I feel very fortunate that I've been able to travel and see all these cool places um, all because I smack things with wooden sticks. That's pretty cool.